Hello everyone, in this video, I will be explaining why the 4AG 16 valve and the big port head, which is the first and second iteration of the 4AG 16 valve, needs an additional oil drain on the cylinder head. Well, let's get started then by explaining when we would need this modification. Firstly, this modification personally from experience with a 4AG 16 valve, specifically the ones with the big port cylinder heads needs this modification even if it's stock, since when you account for the g-force you will experience once you fit high performance tires on your 4AG powered vehicle is that while cornering at a brisk pace the oil pump into the cylinder head will tend to pull on the intake cams or intake side of the cylinder head typically near the rear of the intake cams leading to it not being drained back into the sump leading to problems with lack of quality oil to retain the main bearings in saying that, this phenomenon can also be experienced when you want to have a very high revving 4AG and rev it perhaps 10,000 RPM, which leads to over-oiling the cylinder head and not draining fast enough in order to ensure that the main bearings are properly lubricated and add the corning phenomenon that I mentioned earlier, then this will lead to a catastrophic engine failure because the crankshaft won't get any steady supply of oil leading to metal to metal contact. Now moving forward, by adding an oil drain in the cylinder head, and in this case it is at the rear of the anti cams, because as I said earlier, oil typically pools at the intake cams. This in itself will greatly improve the oil drain back into the sump, allowing for oil still being in the sump and not being oil sucked up into the head. Hence, the crankshaft will still have sufficient oiling, preventing metal to metal contact with the main bearings. As you guys have seen thus far from the images, this is a 4AG 16 valve big port head that is going through the same modification that I have previously mentioned. And personally, I would highly recommend drilling for a 1.5 inch NPT to a dash 10 AN in order to provide you with the benefit of added oil drain back, although a 3 8 to a dash 6 should be sufficient enough provided that you don't exceed revving the engine to about 9000 RPM. In conclusion, I do highly recommend anyone who is interested in the older 4AG engines with a big port uh, cylinder head to do this modification for the exact same reasons that I have said earlier. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, please do like, comment and subscribe for more. Let me know down in the comments what do you think of the 4AG engine. Don't you think that it may be old but still a great engine? 